Success is a very interesting word. The dictionary defines success as the accomplishment of a purpose or aim. In our communities today, everyone seeks to be successful. The apex point in everyone's dream or vision, however, is to create value for ourselves. Value, therefore, is directly linked with success. In our communities, every successful person is deemed to be a valuable member of the community. What is value and what is purpose? Because I always say that purpose supersedes value. In order for you to ascertain the value of a thing, you need to know the purpose the thing serves. What is purpose? The dictionary defines purpose again as the reason for the existence or the creation of a thing. Value, on the other hand, is the regard that something is held to deserve. It is the significance, the usefulness, or the importance of a thing. For us, therefore, to become valuable, we need to be serving a purpose. Some people need to know the significance of our lives in their lives. What purpose are you serving in the lives of others? What purpose, what use, how useful are you for others? We want to be successful in our marriage. But for you to be successful in marriage, you need to know the purpose of a wife in marriage. If you are a husband, you need to know the purpose of a husband in marriage before you can be successful in marriage. Have you been to a company and suddenly you feel like you should become the CEO of that company? Today, as a Christian who wants to become successful in life, I would like to introduce a very controversial yet truthful concept to you. I call it kill Adam to become successful. Why Adam? If you are a Christian, you know very well that Adam is the first man God created. And you also know that God, you also know that Adam is the first man who sinned. What sin did Adam commit? I choose to call the sin of Adam the omission of purpose. Why do I say that? When God created Adam, he created him for a purpose. God gave Adam his purpose after creation. But when Adam sought after a higher value for himself, he wanted to become like God. In doing so, he neglected his purpose and sought after a higher value. This is why Adam sinned. As a Christian today, if you want to become valuable in life, you need to identify your purpose in life and you need to save your purpose. I say that purpose is the will to success. Purpose is the will to value in life. So in order to become valuable in life, you must discover a purpose and save it. Have you actually sat down to consider the reason why you have been employed in that company in the first place? Because we are mostly tempted to think about the benefits and the salary. Hardly do we sit down and think about our purpose in the company. Because it is the reason why we are employed that matters. So in order for you to be successful, gain a promotion, a higher salary, you need to discover your purpose. Serve it, and if, and if possible, serve a higher purpose in that community or in that company. In doing so, your value will come out. People will begin to recognize you as a valuable member or asset in that company. And then you will become valuable to them, and then you will be successful. If you seek to attain higher value in life you must discover a purpose and begin to serve it the gentleman who wants to become a president the gentleman who wants to become an mp the gentleman who wants to become a good husband a good wife who wants to become successful in marriage you must discover the purpose of a wife you cannot become you cannot live in a beautiful home and enjoy a good marriage if you don't know the purpose of a wife. 
You cannot live in a peaceful home and enjoy a good marriage if you don't know the purpose of a husband. Similarly, you cannot have a fat salary and enjoy a better position in that office, in that company, if you don't know the purpose or the reason why you have been employed. Seek your purpose and you will attain a higher success in life. I say that Jesus Christ is the only man who had the audacity to say that it is finished before he died. Why? Because Jesus Christ lived for only 33 years, but he completed, he accomplished his purpose in life. So he had the audacity before he died to say that I am empty. Adam, however, neglected his purpose and sought a higher value. And this is the reason why Adam sinned. For us to be successful, therefore, we must kill the spirit of Adam that lives inside us. We must not entertain the spirit that makes us feel that we deserve more than what we are offering. But we must allow the spirit of Christ to live in us. The spirit that serves a purpose before it is given the higher truth. The spirit that goes through what it is meant to go through before it is rewarded. That is the spirit that we must entertain in our lives. Jim Rohn says that for you to become successful, you must save. You cannot sit beside the fire and say, give me heat before I give you wood. If you need heat from fire, you must first gather the wood before it can give you heat. How can you say, give me a higher salary before I show you my purpose? You must serve your purpose, then you will receive a higher salary. In our quest to become successful and more valuable in life, we must learn to identify our purpose and to accomplish our purpose. In so doing, we will allow the Spirit of Christ to live in us. Thank you and God bless you for watching me today too. If this video has been useful to you, please share it and allow other people to also benefit from it. You can always watch more videos of me when you look for me on YouTube. My channel is Multimines TV. You can also connect with me on Facebook when you search for Multimines. My name is Kofi Sakon. If you want to speak with me, you can call me on 0243 608182.